Today on RC Guy Garage, obviously you can see behind me, we've got the uh, we've got Old Faithful. Old Faithful's actually on the deck. Old Faithful's actually going to be getting a transplant pretty soon. Right behind Old Faithful, you can see we've got the Abau Hyper MT Sport Plus. We're going to be doing a What's in the Box edition on RC Guy Garage. If you're interested in watching and seeing what's inside that box, stay tuned because we're going to find out. Let's go. Here's a look at the front of the box. Graphics are pretty intense. You can see right there, we've got the four-wheel drive monster truck, Hyper MT Sport Plus. So the Nitro one is actually what's on the box, but this one is actually electric. And that is from the company called Hebao. This is actually giving you the Nitro uh, features on this side of the box. So you can see it's got the uh, big block Hyper 30 turbo engine, which none of this actually matters, but at least I can kind of give you an idea of what's on, you know, or what's in the Nitro version of this vehicle right here. Look at that chassis. That chassis is absolutely mint looking. This is actually the first iteration of, I guess you want to say, that truck. That's version 2. This is technically version 1 or version 1.5 or however you want to look at it. It would be included with a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio system. You get to see you've got the uh, mega block steering front universal joint, which what's, uh, what that means is that all four corners take the same exact uh, piece like a lot of manufacturers are doing nowadays. Robust front and rear suspension arms, and when they say robust, they actually mean it. Uh, large battery box or tray, super stroke aluminum shocks, obviously on all four corners, and then front uh, GM headlight uh, bumper, which uh, in the Hyper MT, we actually lit ours. So we were able to go ahead and drill out the backside and fit it with a light kit, which right now it's looking rat rodish, but that's actually how I like Old Faithful looking. Old Faithful right now is literally Old Faithful the rat rod. So I love that thing. That thing is a thrasher. So we'll flip the box to the side here. It just gives very important information right here. This product is not a toy for ages 14 plus. So make sure you're paying attention to that stuff. Uh, in this box, you can see what we ended up with the body color. Looks like we've got the body color of gray. You could have got clear or blue. We've got uh, the choice between nitro and electric. We've got electric. And then obviously it's 80% or RTR and we have the RTR version. So here's the specs for the Hyper MT. Length, width, height, weight for nitro, and then weight for electric. Boom. Now we'll go on this side, and this is actually the electric version side. So this is what we actually have. Uh, we don't have the blue one. We've got the, the, the gray or whatever the heck it said. But you got the uh, high-powered motor right there, high-powered speed control. You got the uh, side truss battery tray holders. Same thing, super stroke aluminum shocks, and obviously the same kind of bumper. Obviously all that stuff the same, and, and on this lower point, everything else is also the same. Uh, Mod 1 pinion gear setup. Uh, it's all, I'm pretty sure it's all metal gears inside. Uh, let's see, full aluminum truss chassis, double lock dustproof wheel flange hub, center base roll bar, uh, monster truck tires and wheels, uh, new plus lug monster truck tires, which it's just the uh, type of tire that it actually has. Stainless steel adjustable turnbuckles. Now that's one of the things that's actually pretty cool is that this stainless steel. I, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, enclosed gear reduction transfer case, which I actually have the upgraded transmission. So what we're going to do is once we unbox this and blast it a few times and put it through its paces, I'm going to end up doing a tranny swap on it so that... We can see the differences between the transmissions. And what I'll do is I'll pop the transmission out of this thing, and then we'll bust them both open, and we'll be able to physically see the differences between the two transmissions. The upgraded transmission is all metal. So, yeah, big, big difference right there. And then on this side, this just basically would give you, if you had the actual uh, nitro version, so there you go, that's what the uh, nitro... I guess you want to say um, specs are. But anyways, I'm going to bust this thing open the way I do it. So bird's eye view, let's go. All right, so let's just set this up for the nice. Yeah, see, so you got the nice little Hebao backdrop right there. That band is actually a real race banner. Got some, a uh, little bit of tape on the back side of here. Put this back over. So there we go. Hyper MT Sport Plus.
Are you ready for the reveal? I know I am. Dude, I've been waiting to bust open this box. This thing just... Oh, on the outside of the box, it just looks mint. Bam! Look at how tightly packed this is. So right away, just, you know, like typical, you've got the uh, Hibau Hyper MT Sport Plus Instruction Manual. It does have an antenna tube. I don't know why they put an antenna tube in there. I never use the antenna tube. Um, doesn't feel like... Doesn't feel like any tools in there, but yeah, there's the instruction manual. We don't need to go through this. It's a very actually well-made, in my opinion, instruction manual from what I've seen before from Hebao. So, and then obviously this remote, I actually like this remote. This is the Hebao. Uh, this is the remote that basically comes in all of these vehicles. Uh, that is a third uh, position switch. So if you did have a... Uh, if you did have a three-channel uh, receiver, which I'm not sure if this has a three-channel receiver or not, probably doesn't. I know that the crawler does, the DC-1, because obviously that's used to switch the gears. It takes uh, the four AA batteries, four AA's, used to be eight, used to be 12, whatever it is. Now they're just going with four. Works out pretty good. Uh, the controls on here, it's all digital, which I actually like. Uh, I have no issues or problems with this. And as far as the remote goes... Being in the hand, this is this is a remote that I actually like a lot. Uh, it has a good feeling. I'm not getting any issues like when we're running in sand, like the Traxxas remotes. The Traxxas remotes, it feels like the wheel is just too tight to the body to where if you get any kind of spray of sand like on your uh, controller, that it like starts grinding. I haven't had issues with this remote. So, but uh, there you go. There's the remote, and then. Looks like we've got like some kind of probably FCC card here. Yep, so typical FCC statement, which, you know, that just doesn't matter to us. It's just what comes in the box. And then, oh, look at that. So what do we got here? So underneath, oh, what is this? What? What is this? I have no idea what this is. But it looks like some type of a slipper. It looks like a slipper setup. So this might be like a, this might be like an extra slipper setup or something. That sure is what it looks like to me. I could be wrong, but that looks like a slipper. So we got that, and there is another little package in here. What we got here? Oh, check it out, dude! I have got so many of these program cards now. Literally, all the higher quality cars come with program cards. And what's nice is I like how Hebao does this because now I've got like five program cards. So that means like I can have one everywhere. I can leave one in my truck. I can leave one in my car. I can leave one here in my box. I'll always have one. Hey, you know what? Maybe I could do a giveaway on a program card. Look at these wheels, man. That's some deep dish wheels right there. These tires, these are nice. Oh my God. This is definitely got, this has got a gripping, like, lugged tire. I like the design of this tire. I can't wait to try it out. But, yeah, look at the massiveness of this wheel. This thing is just insanely huge. Huge! So, pretty sure that's a 17-millimeter uh, hex. Take the tires out. We'll set those aside for now. More tires. So, you got four tires. <laughs> And then take, oh, what is this? More stuff. No way. Are you serious? So this actually comes with a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a hex. Wow, look at all the stuff that comes in this thing. What the, what the heck are those things? These look like, these look like clamps. There are clamps and pins. It looks like uh, extra pins for uh, your drive shafts. There's like a ton of stuff that's coming in this kit. This is insane. Allen wrenches comes with uh, obviously your you know your locking screws. So not only does it come with the knurled nuts that actually lock on to the actual truck, um, it actually comes with nuts that actually go in and lock down. Uh, it looks like it locks the hex down to the, uh, CVs, I'm thinking. So, wow. Is there, like, a special wrench that you need to put the, these on? 
Because I don't see anything in the... I don't see anything in the thing here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do I need, like, a special wrench to put that on? There's nothing else in the box. That's it. There's a better look. Now we can get a nice close-up of this... Of this little... I mean, I don't want to call it little. It's a little... It's like a little big beast. Um, body pins are actually pushed through the actual plastic, keeping the body nice. Pop those off. And this has those massive, uh, real nice, good quality pins. They're at that like uh, 30 degree angle, which is nice because it makes it easier to kind of put them on and pull them off. I, I actually kind of prefer this type of clip because it's easier to grab. So, but these, these are nice body clips. Let's pull the body off. Ta-da! Look at that thing. This thing. Wow. Check that out. So you can actually see the cutout for the um, for when it's gas. So obviously using the same body for when it's gas, you can see that there's, there's the uh, cutout circle for the engine. And that looks like that's the uh, cutout for maybe the uh, fuel cell. But look at this thing. Little... You know, typical, typical, you know, feeling uh, body. Nothing to, um, nothing to say for thickness or anything, but it's, uh, I like it. I like the styling of it. It's got a real nice sharp look to it. I like that. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like the F-150 right there. So I think that's what they're kind of modeling this at is, uh, the F-150. The F-150, um... With the uh, suicide rear doors, it looks like. Suicide rear doors, so it's an F-150 with the suicide rear doors and the uh, the little mini bed. But yeah, this thing is mint. Let's get you down on these uh, aluminum shocks here. Kind of almost has like that uh, semi-progressive spring, but... Oh, man. The suspension feels killer. Holy crap. Oh, it even has boots. Check it out. The shocks, I didn't even see that. The shocks actually have boots on them. Look at that finish. Look at the um look at the finish of the aluminum. The finish of the aluminum and the finish of the shocks match. It looks like we've got a uh, 16 tooth pinion gear and an all metal spur gear as well, so Gotta figure out. I have no idea what the heck this is in this package. I'm literally gonna have to rip it open. It has a slipper clutch look to it, but I have no idea what this bag actually is. So I'm just gonna have to bust it open and see exactly what's in that bag. Let's see what's in here. It's got it's got a shaft with metal gears and it looks like clutch friction material that looks like friction material and then that would obviously be the other side I'm not seeing a spring like that that was that's kind of weird to me maybe it's got to do with uh pressure of washers or something you see we've got you know a, a heck of a big stack of washers right there maybe that's how this um slipper clutch system works yeah it does it's got a series of uh disc springs Wow, so that's what that is. It actually has disc springs inside of there. wonder which is which. Oh, it's those black ones. So the black ones are actually concave or convex, however you want to look at them. So that's why I didn't see a spring in there. I guess you could just call me old school slipper clutch. Uh, this does not have the removable battery trays, which is fine. No big deal. It's got the nice grab bar. It does have the uh, double Dean's connector, obviously, because, you know, this thing, I'm assuming, is this success? You know what's funny is it's that's that's the way I do things, right? So I don't even know if this thing is 6S or 4S. I have no idea. I want to say it's 6S. That's what I'd like to put through it. The wiring is saying 6S. The motor says 6S. The speed control, I'm pretty sure... 150 amp. Yeah, 150 amp. So that, that's a 6S. So this is 6S. And it's one of those things where 
It doesn't say it on the outside of the box, and I didn't do any research into this truck. It's just literally, this is one of those, hey, what's in the box, and that's what I'm showing you. So let's um, let's see how we get these wheels on, because that's something that I kind of like, kind of like a little, a little confused about the wheels. Like, the nuts look like they take some special kind of, like, wrench. So let's just see if we can put them on. What's nice is I love seeing the thickness of all the plastic, this metal chassis. Obviously, that's 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 replacing that um, transmission because the transmission in this is plastic, but the one that I've got, the upgrade, is actually metal. I like the actual tighter, smaller footprint of this truck. This is obviously a smaller truck. So let's get these wheels on and uh, see what's up. Where's my knife? Oh, how about if I open this? It's my knife is probably in here. Hey, look at that. My knife. And <laughs> I wonder if this is actually going to work. I have no idea what, the, what those are for. It's got... It's got pins, like it's extra pins for the the wheels. I don't know what the heck are the what, what are these like little hose clamps for? Why does it have hose clamps? I have no idea why it has hose clamps, but it's got hose clamps. And it looks like it has uh, it almost looks like it has wheel hex pins. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe those are like extra wheel hex pins. But you can see these things actually look pretty mint. I like how they do this. This is almost like having a dust cap. Yeah, so, all right, so it should actually take, I bet it does take, yeah, it does. So if you have the MT, if you have the MT uh, plus two, um, the MT plus two 17 millimeter wrench will actually fit right on there. So that works out nice. Yeah, I like this. So we'll put the wheel on first. You know what? How about if I do this? So this is actually why I made this thing, was to be able to use it, so why don't we just use it? Cool. Alright. So we'll throw this on. So we're going to put the wheel hex on first. It's oh, light. Yeah, so you put the wheel hex on first, and then you take the nut and put the nut on. And that gives it that gives it a finished appearance. And look at that, it even says Hebao on the actual fastener, on the wheel hex. Now that is quality right there. Check that out. That's that's thinking on their part, man. Now, we're just putting things on. We're kind of just putting it together right now. We're not Loctiting anything. I'm not, you know, I'm just basically just putting it together for the show of uh, just putting this thing together. That's all. I like these, though. Aren't these actually, aren't these actually wicked cool? funny how much uh how much of a mini this feels like compared to the uh the mt2 i'm like i'm liking the shorter wheelbase
overall, I'm li I'm literally liking this truck, man. Just the way it's looking, just the way it's coming together. All right. Just slap the body. On. Body goes on nice and easy. Use the killer body pins that they, you know, have with it. This is a sick setup, man. This is definitely modeled after the F-150. Look at that thing. That is a sharp truck. Looks like this, with this particular thing, these are obviously, um, these are reflectors, so we won't be lighting those, but maybe what we could do is we could pop those out and be able to throw a light kit in there anyway. But look at that thing. Wow, this thing is mint. got a good saddle the suspension feels very oh all right so we've already got we got a slight little bit of interference so you hear that so what that is is that is actually the body when you compress the suspension it's the body coming up against that so i wonder if like with the uh hyper mt too i wonder if um i wonder if these body posts can be raised uh, yeah they can so let's just raise it up real quick see if that changes anything just a very slight amount of interference it's no big deal might have done that for um to be honest with you they might have done that for packaging i think maybe just gonna pop this out real quick and see if uh, see if it needs to be raised up. No, it doesn't. All right, so there's body interference uh, right off, which that's kind of odd. That's weird. Why does they have? Why does it have body interference? That seems that seems strange to me. Body goes on mint. But what it is, is it looks like it's on. Yeah, so. Huh. That's odd. Well, let's check this out. The way the thing is built, though, I'm, like, overall super impressed with the quality of the way this thing looks. I'm trying to see if, like, this, this thing is on backwards or something, but it's not. I don't know. We might have to, uh, might have to trim the body a little bit or something. See, the back is, I know the back is fine, but the front, the front actually does hit. Either way, it doesn't matter. This thing, I can already tell, at least from from knowing this manufacturer, this thing is going to perform. Just a little bit of maybe minor body trimming, you know, on that front bumper, which is fine with me. I could care less. I think what they're doing is they're, they're wrapping a body around... They're wrapping a body around a... A structure. Something that... Something that probably rips. So, you know what I'm curious about? Let's see if the uh, MT2 fits this uh, truck. Either way, the, the body of this thing looks killer, though. It's just got a wicked, wicked, wicked sharp look to it. I'm thinking this isn't going to... There's no way that that's going to fit, right?
because this is a much longer wheelbase. So here's what's nuts, man. The body, the body of that MT Plus 2 actually, I think, fits on this truck a little bit nicer. We'd have to do something with the front end a little bit because obviously the bumper's tucked in, but look at how that body actually fits on onto there. That's got a nice look to it. Where when you see this body, it looks a little, this body looks a little short. See what I'm saying? Wheel well openings look a little short, just like, you know, with the, a lot of the typical, you know, larger monster trucks because they're leaving that room for the front and the back so that you don't get body damage. But I don't know. The body's mint. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to run it the way it is. Usually I run it out of the box the way it is. Maybe I just will and we'll suffer with, you know, some of the body rub. So let's just let's just get this thing back together. Sometimes it's literally the basic things that um, get overlooked. So, the body fitment issue, that's actually my problem. Because what I didn't notice was, for some reason, my mind was just locked into, I guess, looking at the car as an overall car, body on. But what I should have realized was that they took the body post and they slammed them down to the bottom so that, I guess it would fit in the box better. So when you check out this right here, all I did was remove those two screws right there and jack up the body post. And now there's no more interference. But see, those are the things that sometimes you can overlook. And when I was doing the video and when I was kind of like showing the car, I was just like, I was literally thinking to myself, how could they do this? Like, why why would they let something like this fly out the door like that? So, lesson learned. Company like this, they're not joking around. Ah, my bad. <laughs> so, we're jacking up the body post. I already gave it a test fit. Obviously, now it fits. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, the original thing, what we were having, is we're having this section of, of the the body contacting the lower half of the strings springs so what i did is jacked up jacked up the body posts and yeah are you kidding me i don't know man just it is what it is right so at least um it's a learning experience and even kind of i know now but my voice is getting all messed up i have no idea what's going on but we had a uh, an awesome late night uh, four and a half hour live stream that we did last night, and that was actually meant. It's literally becoming just the hangout. So, yeah. Anyways, so there you go. That's just kind of like a, a ending blip from that company, Hebao. It's on the uh, MT Sport Plus, and that thing, I cannot wait to rip it because doesn't that thing just look badass? I think so. So now seeing that we actually showed you that we can actually raise these uh, body mounts here I'm just going to flip it to the back. You can see the same exact thing. Two little screws. Two little screws. One there, one there. And all you do is you take a um, two millimeter. Undo these little screws right here. Of course my hands are probably in the way, right? Sometimes it's literally just the easily overlooked thing. And that was totally my my maneuver. I'm not paying attention. Take the screws out. Crank up the, the body post literally all the way to the top. And then we'll just put the screws right back in. As long as I can line up the holes. Right about there. Now we weren't getting any interference in the rear, obviously because of the way it's um, set up in the in the rear. But I'm gonna put the body on and show you anyway that there won't be any more interference. 
You know what's funny is that I'm, I'm doing this like at an odd angle so I'm not in the way of the camera. Now watch, take the body, take the body on. And hey, look at that, zero interference. So there we go. The front. Zero interference, calling myself out, so that it is what it is, so thanks for watching. Doesn't that thing just look badass? I think so. So right away, <laughs> one of my first impressions about this truck, because it's so brand new, I don't want to wreck it. That body just looks absolutely killer. It looks insane. When you take the cover off, you actually see the components inside, and it's just like you know that this is designed to be a bashing thrasher or a thrashing basher however you want to look at it this is just a smaller scale i guess compared to the hyper mt2 which is obviously the the i call it old faithful that's actually behind me over my shoulder right there but um yeah i don't know man it's almost like i don't want to bash this thing just because it's it's so pretty looking <laughs> so anyways uh this was just a what's in the box version from rc guy garage so if you like videos like this you already know what to do go ahead and share the channel give me a thumbs up just do whatever you gotta do um and obviously subscribe to the channel that's the biggest thing so anyways thanks for watching this episode from rc guy garage i'm out